Okay, 8.8 .8 force of gravity. Okay, so we know that the acceleration due to gravity is given by this minus g. Okay, that's if we define up as being positive. Okay, so gravity or acceleration due to gravity is minus g. Okay, so if we consider the equation of motion, which is sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration, then if we consider the left side of that equation, the sum of the forces on an object due to gravity is given by this. Okay, force of gravity, okay, and it's the earth on the object. So that's the left hand side, sum of the forces. The right hand side is max, but we know that ax is minus g, so this becomes minus mg. Okay, so the gravitational force exerted by Earth on an object is given by this mg, minus mg. All right, now let's do a little example. So here we have a, a tennis ball being hit by a racket straight up. Tennis ball hit by a racket straight up. Now they give us the magnitude of the acceleration of the ball. And it's 9g. 9g is the acceleration of the ball. Okay. So the question is, what are the magnitude and direction of the force exerted by the racket on the ball? Again, the first step always, always, always is free body diagram. Okay? So we are trying to find, uh, first of all, what are we looking at? What is the object? The object we're looking at is the ball. Okay? We have its inertia and now we want to draw the free body diagram of the ball there is the center of mass diagram that X we have the gravitational force down FG earth on ball and we have the force of the racket on the ball up it's a contact force racket on ball as you can see because it's accelerating up um, we know that the vector sum has to be pointing upwards. So there's an upwards acceleration. So what is this force? This is what we're trying to calculate. So let's use our equation of motion. So the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. Okay, so we have the force of the earth on the ball down, the gravitational force down, so that's negative, and this force is going to be positive. Okay, so we've got this force plus that force is equal to the mass times acceleration. So if we know that the acceleration on, of the ball is 9g, we replace this with 9g, we put that in there, so we have 9g times m, that's on the right hand side. And then the gravitational force is minus mg, it's acting down. And then the racket force is FRB and it's positive. All we do is now we rearrange and we get that the, and we put in, we know what the inertia of the ball is, gravity, inertia, gravity. We know these unknowns here. We, I mean, we've got these guys. Now we're trying to find that and we find that it's 20 Newton upwards plus. So the force of the magnitude of the force of the racket is 10 times larger than the gravitational force exerted by Earth, which also makes sense if the ball is to be accelerated upwards during a very short time interval um, that the racket is in contact with the ball. All right.